that's kind of cool. Look at that. All right. You never know what you're going to see at the beach. But hey, I am with mom today. We're going out to the state pier to do some pompano fishing. I have some hand tied Bama saltwater pompano rigs, and hopefully, we can catch something on the bottom doing some surf fishing from the pier. So, y'all come join me. Let's get on there. All right, y'all. So, we're on the pier, and I just have one of my hand tied surf rigs. This is just a double drop pompano rig. You can pick them up on my website, link down below, and a lot of the local tackle shops down here. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on with one of these one ounce pyramid weights clipped to the bottom with some shrimp. And these little gulp synthetic surf bites. These are pretty new. I'm going to try them out. So let's get rigged up. So we're just using frozen shrimp and we just pinch it in half. You can peel it if you want. You don't have to peel it. It kind of looks like a little sand flea if you leave the legs on, which I think works pretty good. Now I'm going to cut a piece of these Berkeley gulp. And we'll cut that again in half. There we go. Two hooks, two baits. All right. So mom actually went ahead and cast out. It's a nice pump. And she already has a fish on. Nice that is a nice pump. And shark right on the <gasps> yeah, bring it up, bring it up. Oh. Here, bring it. Yeah, come on, come on. Ooh, there you go. He's a Here, and we're tangled up with somebody too. You got it. Real Miss Lee, I got. It. Real, real, real. All right. Hey. There we go. So mom just got a really nice pompano. These only have to be 12 inches total length in Alabama. That's from the tip of the mouth to the tip of the tail in Alabama state waters. So that was a good fish. Had a little tang, <laughs> it's trying to run away. Had a little tangled up mess there for a little bit, but that ain't no big deal. He was using one of my Bama saltwater hand tied rigs, but this one was the pink one and one of the pink gulp surf bites on there with some shrimp. So that was before I even was able to get one out. So that one's in the cooler. That's awesome. You're allowed three of those per person. So I'm gonna try to get me one. <laughs> Mom's doing good on that pink one. Yeah, it looks like a little Jack Creval or short pompano or hardtail. Yeah, good hardtail. <laughs> there you go. So mom got a little blue runner or hardtail. Those are great baits, but uh, probably gonna let that one go. You can also eat them when they get a little bigger. They're actually not bad. They're related to pompano in the same Jack family. go all right fish on fish on come on yeah i don't think it's anything good i think i have a hard tail <laughs> yeah got a hard tail so everybody <laughs> everyone around me is catching pompano i got the it's younger cousin here all right i got a little hard tail on the rig so Blue runner, heart tail. Uh oh. I'm gonna let him go back. Sorry, bud. He gone. There's no shortage of those. All right, mama's doing really good right now. She hooked another fish. That's a nice, uh, what is that, a whiting? Yeah. Big old. Oh, hey, hold on. I was, I was gonna handline it for you. <laughs> there we go. Got a big old Gulf King fish on that rig. These are very good to eat. Call them whiting. Got the little black spot on top of his tail and the circle hook in his mouth. Let's see if I can get something on this cast. All right. I have a hard tail, or what is that? A remor? Really? <laughs> All right. I'm catching trash fish today man look how dark this one is these are shark suckers they stick to the bottom of shark stingrays big drum and uh pretty obnoxious things but i think they're cool so we're gonna let them go and he's gonna go down there and eat some more trash there you go well i think i'm in negative points for the quality of fish i'm catching <laughs> that pink bama saltwater rig's doing it right now does it have some weight to it? What is that? It jumped out of the water. <laughs> Was that just on the Berkeley? Yeah. I don't know. It looks like a small pump. It is a small pump. I don't know. That one might be a keeper. <laughs> All right, here, I'll hand line it up. There we go. Real, real, real. That was just on the Berkeley, too. 
those, those uh, surf bites. All right, this one's barely legal, but it is legal. So mom has two out of three on the pompano. <laughs> That's a good combo right there. Good job. I didn't even have any shrimp on it. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. I saw you, you throw it out. So I'm Thank getting you. trash fish here on mine. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm over here taking thumbnail pictures and mom's doing pretty good. No, it's just fighting hard. Yeah. There's a pompano right there. Another one. I wonder if he's going to keep. You can just reel him up. You got him. Yeah, you can. You got them. Mm, that one might keep. Just got to measure it. Bring it over. Bring it over. There we go. So I'm over here messing with my camera. I'm also actually putting in some work and catching some fish. And there he goes. And he gone. All right. That was chaotic. All right. I got my first pompano today. Oh without getting too bad of a tangle. Well, there wasn't a need to cut it. That was an easy tangle to get out. I just couldn't tell which side. There you go. And there's a lot of action going on right now. Mom just caught another pump and they'll relatively same size in the same school. So need to catch some bigger ones. So I don't know what I got on camera and what I didn't just now, but we all have been hooked into a pump and a, got a, pump and, a, I got a pump. and there's <laughs> a couple people hooked up again. Oh. What is that? <laughs> Pompano? A hardtail. I can't tell. It's... Hey, you just catch a nice flounder out there. Bro. Man, I was, ca I, was, I was catching over like 40 day out there. There it is. Come on. They're biting pretty consistently. There's one following them too. You see that? That one might be a keeper. Yeah, that one might. I hate having to measure them. I like catching the ones that you can just throw in the box. So, once again, this one's not a keeper. In a few months, it'll probably grow up to be a keeper. But it's really good. But it's really good seeing this healthy population of them. So, so the good thing about these rigs is they have circle hooks. And circle hooks make catch and release a lot easier than just a regular J-hook. So, these are small circle hooks, and they seem to work pretty well. That's why I like using them. But I'm gonna keep on casting out a little bit more. If we don't catch anything else or just some smaller fish, we're gonna head out. But we've had a great day so far. All right, it is later this afternoon. I have my nice, lively finger mullets, miharas, and uh, there's a small little pilchard in there too. But they've just been sitting on the aerator most of the day. And as you see, they're still nice and lively. But we're just right here in Orange Beach fishing along this seawall. I've got a Carolina rig, one ounce weight, 20 pound fluoro, and a small two alt mustad circle. Let me get one of these baits out. Looks like finger mullet's going to be the first one. Oh, come here. So what I like to do is just go through that upper lip. And there we go. That's ready to go out there. And hopefully something nice will eat that. Such a great bait. So let's take this live finger mullet and drop it down. Go and drop it right below this wall. All right. Now all I need to do is sit and wait, and hopefully we can get something good. Yeah, much better hit. There it is. <laughs> ah, it's taking me back in that structure. All right, I got it finally. A little mangrove snapper. All right. That's a good one there. He is legal size. So we'll put you on ice. Look at that. Now they do have some teeth there. Snapper. So <laughs> definitely want to watch out for them. But the colors on these fish are amazing. They look like a really pretty saltwater bluegill almost. But here we go. Finally got one. It's been a while. So he frayed my leader pretty good, so I'm going to put some more on. This is just a Seaguar 20 pound flora. Pretty good abrasion resistance. So I'm going to take about 14 inches, 15 inches of it. So I haven't had much more luck this evening, so I will be back tomorrow morning and continue to see if we can catch some more fish. Yo, Mom just hooked into it. Oh, I got to get the net for her. Oh, you got it? Uh, that's a nice fish. Nice flounder. Hey. So 
so there's a measuring board it's pretty cool they put these measuring boards here well, i gotta measure them because i don't know if he's a keeper or not there we go 13 inch fish has to go back maybe he'll catch another one that's a keeper all right it's got to go back it's it's just under the size limit it'll be bigger take care brother it's either a keeper or it's not so but good job though so we actually had a pretty good day of fishing mom did outfish me yes she did doesn't happen often but <laughs> she can fish pretty good so if you want to pick up some of those rigs i'll include a link down in the description below to my website if not and you want to pick them up local you can find them in a lot of the local tackle shops here in gulf shores and orange beach so i will see you on the next bama saltwater fishing video i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later